had a barbecue fundraiser to help send um, youth from camp, from our church to youth camp um, this summer. And we had um, a great time and it was a very rewarding event. Yes, but before we share the final outcome um, of it, we wanted to kind of share with you the process of um, what happened to us while we were preparing for that fundraiser. Um, so it all started with an idea. Do you want to explain the idea? Um, our youth pastor announced that, you know, there's families that have more than one child and might not be able to afford to take, to send, you know, all their children or any of their children to a youth camp. So he's like, if y'all are anybody out there that can, you know, help sponsor a child, he, you know, was encouraging that. And so... Um, one of our members, um, her husband, um, had the idea of, hey, what if instead of using this money to sponsor one child, what if, you know, we do a barbecue and use this money to try to raise more money to sponsor more? So um, the, the cost of each ticket was $210, and he's like, I could use that $200 to buy chicken. Um, you know, do you think the ladies in your life group will buy the rest? And she was like, oh, you, sure. sure, you know, let me ask them. And she course, volunteered us for the potato salad, by <laughs> <Yeah>. the way. <laughs> so, actually, I volunteered her. Oh, but, she did. So it was me. But um, we um, we um, were like, yeah, we'll gladly uh, do it. So Well, and coincidentally, the sermon for Sunday, or like the last few Sundays, has been over what we call, what pastor's calling the What If series. So pretty much is to live... Um, well, I'm going to quote, and he says, trading your if only regret for God's what if possibilities. So immediately we were like, what if we sell enough to send five kids to camp? And what if, we you know, it changes their lives? So we were all pumped to do so. Uh, and so we're like, that's it. We're going to sponsor five kids uh, without the lead. None of us knew how to sell. None of us had any experience with any of that. Okay. <laughs> that's a blooper right now. Right, that's a blooper. So, um, in the process, um, while we were doing that, the devil was just getting in our way. Um, one of the, the husbands lost his job. Uh, some people were just having a hard time selling. selling. No one wanted to buy. We were all supposed to sell 20 tickets. Some of us only were able to sell three. Some were able to sell seven. Seven, I sold 10. The 10 that I sold, I had the money stolen. So I was like, oh my God, God, what am I gonna do? I don't have the money to put out of my pocket. So we were kind of feeling that, that clash of the devil trying to, you know, get in the way. But pastor said, pastor said, believe in God's word as if the problem is already resolved. And so we were like, we're going to still sell and send five kids to camp. Um, and so one of the things that really stuck with me, and I take notes, I'm kind of a nerd, uh, I take notes during um, the sermon, but it was more, I should, I, where am I? Oh, right here, sorry. <laughs> Romans 8.31, if God is for us, who can be against us? And that is so powerful because even though we were running through all these like little attacks from the devil. And not sure if we we're gonna make our goal. Yeah, I mean, we still persevered and we were like, no, we're still working on this. Even that day we saw like some scary rain. Oh, it was supposed like, oh to gosh, rain. No. And it had rained like a hurricane just a few days prior. Yeah. So we're from Houston, it rains crazy here. Uh, so just all these things, but we were like, no, nope, if God is for us, who can be against us? And if it's a godly plan, and even if it's a big plan, bigger than what we're capable of, you know, God is going to pull us through. And he did, and we're happy to say that not only did we get to sponsor, well, our goal was to sponsor five kids. We, we um, after we tallied up everything, we're sponsoring nine. Nine! Nine years. So if you helped out, if you helped share, uh, if you help contribute in any way, you know, from the bottom of our hearts, we want to thank you. Of course, we didn't do it. We didn't do anything. Uh, we had a, a group of us, uh, so we're very grateful. But we did want to share the message. We wanted to share the as if uh, message and, you know, plan and uh, believe in God's word. Believe as if he's already resolved the problem. Uh, and, and if it's a godly, God 
Me fan. Fan. Yeah. Right, is that how you said it was a God me fan? You know, and if God is for us, who can be against us? So it's a very powerful message. We hope that you receive it uh, and that it helps you in any way. Um, if we can help in any way, I mean, that's basically our goal in this. So um, we'll leave you with that. And we're so happy. We know that this camp is going to change their lives tremendously. And we're so happy and honored just to be a small part of it. And it's a very rewarding feeling to know that we were able to be a part of something like this. And we kind of were just standing there taking pictures, but we were, we were. I was the, the a driver, <laughs> so I had to, I was the one she that delivered. They, they sent, well, no, they sent me on, like, when we were running out of stuff, I had to go buy stuff. Yeah. Anyways. But a special <laughs> thank you to uh, Gaston Street. The Gaston Street cookers. Yes, because they, I mean, they were amazing. Amazing. They, Pulled it off. They did everything. And they I did had hear, everything organized. Um, from, like the people that bought my tickets, they were telling me how delicious their tickets. Yes, and it was. So we of course ate it. So it's yes. awesome. So thank you so much, and we'll see you next week. Uh, the Gas Street Cookers. Um, we decided to do something to help out the youth from our church, uh, Crossroad United. Um, so in support of that, uh, the, the uh, Gas Street Cookers, the First Ladies of Fellowship of uh, from the from life group. the Life Group. And family members from from our family are helping out to to send a, a couple of kids to youth camp. Hopefully, uh, this will impact some lives and change some some of these kids. Um, just have some you know have them uh, be saved and um, just trying to make an impact in, in our community. Okay, huh. you, this is the adult area. Go over there. Uh huh. Yes. That's really cool. That's how they start or keep the fire going. <laughs> Look at this awesome pit. Professional. We made. It's amazing. Wow, amazing and delicious.